Paula, my love. Come look. <laughs> Hello, stranger. What is this place? If you like it, my wife and I have constructed it from ancient stones. It is a house of dreams and memories, fashioned from gossamer and summer breezes. It is beautiful. Paula and I have traveled near and far. Oh, the things we've seen and done. When I say far, I mean to distant lands beyond your imagination. Each brick of this castle is a memory from our adventures. You have gathered wisdom from your travels. I have, and it is this. It is all very well to prepare for tomorrow. But do not forget today. Today, this hour, this moment is a precious gift. Paula and I will look out from our window over the green of England and recall the hours of our travels. From our window, we can relive our adventures. There she is now! I must go to her. I thank you for your words, friend. Feel stronger already.
You swallowed it. Who was it? There is nothing tasty about a brooch. Lose something. Polish the family brooch up for my niece, put it down for two seconds, and it's gone. One of the sheep must have swallowed it. That would be one hungry sheep. It was my grandmother's given her by a very wealthy, uh... Admirer. How will I get it back without hurting any of my lovely sheep? My brooch! My brooch! Dear heaven, I'll never get it back! <laughs> mm -hmm. One of you swallowed it! Who was it? Ah, yes! Feed the sheep and see what comes out. See what's there! By the gods, how do I find myself doing this? <laughs> Nothing. I must continue my search. Whoa, what has this sheep eaten? Nothing in there. <sighs> A brooch. Not in very fine condition. Here's your brooch. Woo! That smell would knock over a horse. Just take it. It'll need a wash in, but my niece will be so grateful. Many thanks, stranger. I will not help in this way again.
Again, I find traces of the Nephilim. By edict of the local king, I shall prayeth to him that this light may be known as holy. These luminous placards are the divining rods of him who speaks to me. With effort, I seek the union of all his holy creations. Ita, Juno, Minerva, names that enter my head. Are these the Nephilim he reveals to me? Are these stones their signposts? I pray for your guidance, Lord. Amen. Again, I find traces of the Nephilim. By edict of the local king, I shall pray to him that this light may be known as holy. These luminous placards are the divining rods of him who speaks to me. With effort, I seek the union of all his holy creations. Ita, Juno, Minerva, names that enter my head. Are these the Nephilim he reveals to me? Are these stones their signposts? I pray for your guidance, Lord. Amen. energy here.
That's not normal.
what they have done to it. We should stop coming here, Skippy. I should not be seen It only series. saddens you and angers me. Yes. Uh, yes, you are right. Then let's go and never come back. Just... Uh, You're looking to... I would not advise it. In my youth, I could. Both of us could. We would not think twice about taking back what is ours. You lived here. It was a fishing village once. Built it with our bare hands. All of it. But bandits drove us out the moment they saw how plentiful the waters were. The fish here are not shy, and they are difficult to sate. You make it hard to resist. I may have to see for myself. It will not be easy. Why not take my wife with you? Stickler would love to raise hell against these dogs. What would it serve? Only a matter of time before more roving bandits catch a whiff of this place. We know. Such is the case in all of Lincolnshire. But it would be a small victory. A chance to dip our feet for a while. All right, I'll take her. Always good to rekindle the flame. On me, Stickler. We will wet your blade with their bones. It is long overdue. Fight with great passion, Stickler!
are difficult to sate. I like it. That is all of them. Skeki will be thrilled. Let us go to him. Made short work of those bastards! Stigla is a stout fighter. Worthy enough to raid with the best Rengir. It may be what she's destined for. You honor her. And believe me, I have tried. But she is stubborn. Insists on looking after this old and frail hound. When you die, have her seek me out. <laughs> you jest, but I shall take you up on it. Until then. You cursed ground! Your life is in peril! Who's there? 
We are the wisps of the swamp. Leave all you have as tribute, or you will never see the sun again. Spirits. <laughs> we will see about that. Hmm? <laughs> 
I see your stained soul, murderer. You cannot hide from his eyes. This tomb has been opened. It looks like someone lives here. Do you remember Chertsey Abbey? The deadly sin committed there. Bone and sinew, tooth and nail, people splinter apart like dead branches. I still see the glassy stairs when I sleep. I buried them all. My friends, my fellows. Do you remember Chertsey Abbey? But you taught me a killer's ways. You are mine, sick. <sighs> you bleeding dunghill. <sighs> You butchered my brothers! Hatred has driven you mad! Your thirst for vengeance led you here. Rest now. Pagan rock holds no magic. Besides, there are wolves, big ones with teeth. I am going. 
going to that stone, and you cannot stop me. Uh, the... Why do you quarrel? Because my husband has the courage of a quivering dormouse. All I ask for is a child. I'm not sure how I can help with that. There is a rock, a place of great power. They say that all women who spend the night there come away pregnant. From a rock? From the fertile power and energy it holds. I must see it for myself. Will you protect me on the road? Every woman I know who's gone to the rock has left with child. It's a miracle. And this is not a Christian belief. The legend says that Ostera, the goddess of spring, transformed a bird into a hare at this very spot. The wolves! Stay out of harm's way. I will deal with them. The hare then laid colored eggs for her festival. The place has great magic. Birds becoming hares, hares laying eggs. We Norse have stranger stories. Here we are. This is the sacred place. Great Ostara, bestow your blessing upon me. Give me that which I so desperately desire, a child. Ostara shall grant your wish through the power of a sacred ritual. Do you both seek the goddesses, Saka? This woman has come to take in the power of the Rock of Fertility. And she will. All leave satisfied. However long it takes, and whatever is needed of me, I will give it. Are there cuckoos in the nest? How many children has this rock brought forth? It all in. But it is so big. Yes, darling. Oh, yes. 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 Bring it from Ethan Maria. One nicked it. Half the moon is set. Elga. Bess where none else for Yes, my dear. Feel the power of the goddess. Take it all in. But it Many is Many women so come here. Big. Yes, darling. Oh, yes. 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 Feeling you are. You feel the power. Yes, you feel the power. Oh. Oh. If the harp a man from the air. Yes, my dear. Feel the power of the goddess. Take it all in. But it is so... big. Yes, darling. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> Filling you up. You feel the power. Yes, you feel the power. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, are you glad you came? Ah, oh, yes. Yes, it's just the two of us. And the goddess, yes. Yes, darling. Mm. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, well. Oh, yes, well. I feel the power. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, so glad. Oh, just at us. Oh, yes. The goddess, yes. The goddess, yes. Oh, the goddess, yes. And you. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 right. Yes, 
Yes, no. Yes, 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 no. Yeah, yes. Oh. Oh, holy yes. Oh. The essence of the gods is certainly spreading itself all over Sussex. I should lead them to their, um, ritual. Epic tale. Here's a tale to tickle your sides. The winter before, I was drinking in Stavanger with some companions. With us in the mead hall were men of Bard Jarl's clan, one of which was a poet named Hully, called Sarcastic Hully by most. Seven ale horns into his night, Hully stood upon his table and called across the room to another man, a skald named Chudolf. Chudolf! he yelled. I can compose a more beautiful poem with my belching than you could with... I had a sweetheart once, a long time back. My scars tell good tales. Take this one. A hole through my chest and out my back. Just missed my heart. The elk up north are abundant. So I led a bunch of men into the woods, and we found two big males jousting. I had never seen anything like it. Horn on horn, bone on bone, at that speed, with that power. Over and over and over again, until only a single elk stood standing. Bloody, triumphant, facing me. We were two giants, going at it for food, land, sex. My blood was pumping. I told the men to lower their bows as I approached it. I cast my spear aside, dug my boots into the snow. This was my land now. Move it. We ran towards each other, and crash! I woke up a camp with my screaming. The men killed the elf for food and nursed me back to health. It's the first lesson England taught me. Don't fuck with the elk. <laughs> Yeah. 
Be careful, or be cursed! Foul magic gathers here! A pestilence poisons this land! What is this menace you shout about? Is it some creature you hunt? My prey is the most cunning of beasts. Capable of vile deeds beyond the ability of any common animal. You're hunting someone, then? A warlock. One who once called himself a man, but has since befouled his hoover. His whole being with twisted seder magic. This has the feel of something more personal. The evil spider who squats in yonder hut poisoned my own sister. For that alone, it deserves to die. But maybe you would be moved to help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I'll weigh this against the effort. The warlock makes its lair down this road to the left. Keep an eye out. Have you come to face me, finally? Or will you continue to harass me from afar? Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. So you are not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. There is a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I tried to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness, but he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He killed his sister. Do not listen. He will poison our thoughts. You have no thoughts to poison. Die, monster! To hell with you! Die, coward! All over for you! One day, this land will be cleansed of these twisted deceivers. I struck first, so I will claim the bounty. You may take what you wish from its carcass.
Thorn, be still. Let's have a song. More sail! Is there a sea skull among you? During my time in East Anglia, Athelred, the king that lived for a brief time before Oswald, of me, needed a ship one to ferry some stolen goods from the ports of Jorvik to East Anglia. Said it was urgent. I had done many such runs for Halfton in my day. I was not afraid. But something about this run made me uneasy. Still, I went. The moment we docked our boats and entered Jorvik's underbelly, the contact we met hastily handed us some heavy crates, and just as we loaded up, we noticed hooded figures at the end of the alley. They started to knock flaming arrows. I had seen enough, and we sobbed off, hoisted the sails, and headed fast for open water. I looked back at our contact. He was now face down in the water, stuck with arrows, his body aflame. What by Odin's beard had filled these crates? Lo and behold, it was books, piles of Christian tomes. Such madness. You remember my mother, Eivor? I often think on Estrid in my time. Friends, I have often said... Soma of Grantbridge. I will tell you this. In quiet moments like these, I often think on my life. ...and how it will come to pass. The Nornir weave our fates. Everything we do has already been decided. Even the day of our death. But these thoughts trouble me. For if the Nornir already know I am to be great... ...then I will be great, no matter what I do. If I cast myself overboard to drown... ...would fate send a dolphin to... Hush now! One who wanders widely and has traveled far will learn the scope of mankind's nature and discover common sense. Let's 
Let the sail out! Sing us a song. You cell skills got a story. A story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned, or message to... I have seen the shores of Frankia now. Who among you has heard the tale of... Estrid spoke often of the teachings of Christ. I found them cold and... Listen well, so I may tell you a tale of the Berserkers, and why we keep our potent brew a secret. Once... Save it for later. <laughs>
Show me. Run up the sail! <laughs> Strike of the tune. We'll share a tale. When I came to England with the sons of Ragnar, I believed it would be a brief raid, a swift adventure out on the open sea. I loved that first crossing, sliding over the blue expanse Sea spray wetting my face. Hungry for new lands and adventures. Memories of home always drew me back, distracted me. For it is there where all the worst parts of my... It took too long to look ahead. But I do now. half dance ambition gave rise to my own. He gave me an excuse to leave, to fight, to die an honorable and glorious death, so that we can live in the halls of our fathers. One cannot look back, you understand? You cannot go home again. The seers know this. Oh, we'll pick up from there. Bring sail in!
Yarl needs help! Where's Jarl? He has been taken by bandits! Come quickly! A Jarl taken by bandits? If you are as brave as you appear, you will come! You will be well rewarded! Hey! This way! It is not far! Hurry, or they will kill him! Kill him? Do they not want a ransom? Just hurry! We are near. Go, go on. They are up ahead. You know where they are. You lead. Fine. Follow me.
This pathetic gamble has cost them their lives. They threatened to kill me if I did not help. So to save your life, you let others through their death. Our village was burned by Kjotve the Cruel. We had to flee to the forest. Those who survived grew mean and desperate. Olaf, one of the men you killed, said we had to fight for our land. But he only wanted to kill for silver. There was no need for this fight. Kjotve is dead, by my hand. I have lifted his boot from your neck. Olaf, you lifeless fool! You almost murdered our rescuer! Your second mistake was choosing me as your prey. That was not a mistake. Y you looked like a good fighter. I, I was hoping you would kill or weaken Olaf so I could escape. You are young and still foolish, so I'll spare you your life. But cross me again, or harm anyone I cherish, and you will join your friends in Helheimer's foul forests. Y you will never see me again. Uh, I will be a white rabbit in the snow. me power to offer this sacrifice. Give me the strength to give to you. What is all this? My life. The fruit of my work, all gathered here. And now, I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here, only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it. 
but I know they will sell it all once my light burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. Is that how it works? Why is everything packed in straw? I did not want anything to break. That contains a bow given to me by Hafton the Black, after I put an arrow under King Sigtube's left arm. That sounds like quite the shot. That contains a silver harpoon head I received from King Harold, for pulling Haftan's frozen body out of the ice. They are a generous family. May the gods grant you luck for your efforts! I hope it is good luck. Thank you for your help. You did not have to do this. Kind and courageous people live the best lives, but it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. It is enough that the gods know that, even if the name Harek Gand is forgotten in Midgard. So, what will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. Now I leave this world. Enjoy your life. To Asgard! What? Wait! Thank you! Thor's hammer. That was a shock. Things have we seen. There is no more epic attack. Rolfer, you are destined for greatness. The last time we were docked, I saw two drunk ass Odin warriors take a tinkle of this great river steed. You know who you are, both of you. No need to raise your hand. But did you know I saw your water stain the sides of this ship? Such a dishonor to so loyal a steed. Do you realize how many trees had to die for us to use them as our vessel? A longship is a hundred horses that mated with sacred fish. Gudrun and Gudmund are like the bloody elves of Asgard. You dare desecrate this scourge of the Swan Roads, this fire spouter to the bowels of England. You should lick these benches, caress the masthead, thank the sails, make offerings to the hull. This is our home upon the waves. Hail to our river king, wave walker and loyal serpent. I think I have said enough. 
Let it never happen again. I once sat down and spoke. Heed me, rowers. And I will tell you. I came to England too late. That. You lot have not fought a full camp. Do you remember Ingrid the Chicken? The one that. the wretched old hermit? When I gave up my berserker ways. When I was a girl, I tied threads to my mother. A good nickname must carry a good story. My. I once saw a Dane in Gautland boil bear meat for it. There was a woman called Narl who came by. How about the tale of the return of. I was in Hairdeby when I saw the truest. Hmm. There was a tale of the man I was to crown king. But... I had an odd friend when I was a boy. His name was Nori. And by the. This air reminds me of the time I desperately yearned from. My first day defending the walls of Grantebridge, my duty was defense. I had asked for this task myself. As I patrolled the walls, I sang and banged my shield against the ribs of the walls. I woke. Hold on, good skill. Come, traveler, to our lush and fertile shores. Greg the old mayor seeks a bear kind on Sagli. Would have this act near far. Aiki, Aiki. I did not expect to find anyone on this island. And why not? This is England, home to a nation of Saxons and Danes. Our shores are open for trade. England. It is not what I expected. Many from Norway find the trip dizzying, but fortunately you have me to guide you. I know the land better than my own son. Are you all right? My son, nesting with the pits north of Hadrian's Wall. Who knows what schemes they're hatching, or the sort of people they might send to spy on me. You said something about a tour. Of course, of course, a tour. Follow me. This is the city of London. First built by the Romans during ancient times. We have not seen builders like that since. I guess they had to work with what they had. These are the Dover Cliffs, famous for their bluebirds. Mm. Here is Jorvik, the Dane city of trade. Keep this between us. But King Alfred has a plan for Jorvik. I see. This is Hadrian's Wall. Our last line of defense against the barbarous Picts. It is a line of sorts. At the end of our tour is Winchester, the heart of Wessex, where... Where is King Alfred? Those honorless Picts, they have taken the king! We must seek them north of Hadrian's Wall! Where are you, my king? I am sure he's somewhere.
Do not worry, my king. I am coming. King, what happened? Why won't you speak? Who in hell's name are you? Why are you going through my things? Thor's balls you found it. Why did you take it back? You set him off again, traitor! The king won't speak to me. You cut out his tongue. He has no tongue. Because you cut it out. You are his son. Do not feed this fantasy. His wits wither and become those of a babe. I took him here to ease his madness, but it grows worse. I try using reason or playing along, but he hears only what he wants to hear. Only what he wants to hear? Hmm. I have an idea that could help, if you let me. Old man, your king is worn out from his ordeal. I can hear him speak very softly. He's praising you. He wants to thank... Heesing. He wants to thank Heesing for his loyalty to the crown. What else does he say? You walk in a dream. It is time to wake. What are you saying? What is real may not be as pleasant as a fantasy. But you have people in this world who honor you. It does not matter what you tell me is real. This is what I believe. I believe Alfred has sold us out to the pits. You betrayed your nation and your people! I denounce and dethrone you! It is a harsh choice, but sometimes you must put fire to a wound to heal it. Forgive my ill will. I knew this would be a difficult end, but sometimes the weight bears down heavily. There is courage and honor in what you do, and the gods know it. Good luck to you. Still at war with England. That tough old fox is still hanging on. I admit, I am impressed. I think get up. <laughs> Through the way.
Nature. Sail! Catch the wind! Strike! Run up to sail! Let the sail Let out! Go. Continue. What do you think you're doing? like Odin's.
Hello there. What do you have today? Good day to you, Eivor. Eivor, did Basim contact you in Norway? He said he would be joining you. Yet here you are, and I have no word from him. Hytham, this will be hard to hear, but Basim attacked us in Norway. Vengeance for some transgression of ours, imagined or real. You mean... You mean you slew him yourself? Sigurd and I, together, I know this comes as a... I do not understand. Why would he do such a thing? He loved Sigurd, he loved you. I do not understand it myself. Perhaps one day we can speak about this with more clarity. But for now, I am deeply sorry. I have to go. Then go in peace. There are new maps! What have you got for me today? Done for now? I'll st Keep exploring! So glad to see you. Sigurd. Eivor, before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have, uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, do not be. We adore one another dearly, but our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet as a clan, we will grow together. And I'm glad for you both, and for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. My love.
Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. I want to see the Alliance map. Hamptonshire, the last Saxon stronghold. And very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance. As will Alfred. Is Kuthrum Jarl there with his army? He is. He and Uba have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. I'll go to Hamptonshire and speak with Guthrum. Send word to our allies to gather on the Thames, just outside the Shire. I will. May the gods share in this, our final victory. What is it? Eivor, you must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and wail. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Valka. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones. I have stared the offal of beasts. And in the rising steam, I saw the end of it all. Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master. Your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka. But the yawns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies. And I will see it through. Go then. With great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return. Good day. May I see your stores? All done. I have to go. See you soon. Hope to see you again soon.
Thor lends me strength.
Let's go. Sail! Catch the wind! Epic tale. I had a sweetheart once, a long time back. A fine lady I'd known since I was a boy. Friends, they say scouts seem the best. I know a crazed man about my age called Roker. We had taken to calling Roker the Rodent for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Roker seduced another man's wife. That man called a Holmgang against Roker. Roker accepted the Holmgang, and on the agreed-upon day, he laid out 12 of his axes and asked, Which of these will I use to slay you? Will it be Bone Splitter? He said. My bearded blade inscribed with Sather runes, affixed to a handle of English oak? Or Blood Fountain, he continued. My Danax, which swings through the air on two hands with the speed of an arrow's flight. Or might it be Twin Wolf Wounder? Broker growled, growing even more bold. A fierce pair of throwing axes. At that moment, the man who had challenged Roker brought a large stone down upon his head. Roker died instantly, and his axes were given away as gifts. <laughs> Hold on. Strange to see Norse and Saxon banners flying side by side. I should find Guthrum. Soma! Eivor! You come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There is an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilt? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this ford is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come, I will take you to him. Who is Guthrum meeting here? 
You said Alfred. That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum, show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled, trust me. We took this town as if it were a straw hall. Do not challenge me, Elf King. Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king, and that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. Guthrum does not negotiate with oathbreakers, men whose words are only shadows of their faults. Ah. Eivor, our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to, a Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, then he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the King's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Uba dead? It cannot be! Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true! Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. So let the betrayer be betrayed. We will burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. With war Destroy and... everything! The roofs to splinters, their bones to dust! <laughs> My blood! No! no. Ah, that's new leather! <laughs> Let vengeance steer your swords! My blood! 
blood needs fire after cooling in this sudden field. You'll burn in hell, traitorous scum! I will leave nothing standing! I will feast on your marrow in Valhalla! Fire and flame! Mm-hmm. But...
man! Flame! Burn it all! Their prayers go unanswered this day. We should find Soma. This place has routed Soma. Good work. We leave now. There are forest ruins just east of here, along the road. Come on, men! Move! to their god let us keep moving to meet their maker! <laughs> we 
We can rest here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that breaker of rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. You'll not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes. That is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon king? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Hmm. Alfred spoke of Chippenham, a squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know they're the best in England. A holiday feast. Their Saxon Christ mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uber lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight. But I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took. If there is a chance to save them... You will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you were as hot headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. There is much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. I will crush Alfred's skull with my bare hands if Uba is dead. We cannot dwell on this, even if it's true. If you want the throne, only strategy will deliver it. Or bloody wrath will steal it. I will follow this Alfred, hound his heels. Revenge burns within me. A wise man once told me, we do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift. You turn my words against me now, Wolfkist. I took them to heart in my darkest times, my friend. And Sigurd? He is back with you? My brother's story is a long one, and for another time. Ridding the land of a strong ruler will make Wessex hard to tame. You almost sound like you respect him, Eivor. I have come to understand the trials of leadership, Guthrum. It is hard not to, when you cradle something as fragile as life within your hands. <gasps> Show me what lies ahead. There. This is the blockade. The hostages must be in these buildings. What is your plan? We can tread quietly so as not to alert the guards. But I can raid this place in moments with my crew. I will follow your lead. We will save them, Guthrum. Stay calm. Do you think he kept his word? He swore he would not kill them. I cannot say for certain. Just hope we find them soon. Can you see your men? No, but we must keep looking. Enough skulking! Enough skulking. 
Cannot thank you enough, friend. Go to the camp near Chippenham. Find your countrymen there. Good. We'll pay back the Saxons for the insults they heaped on us. Uthram, some of your men. We will not be feasting in Odin's Hall tonight, boys. Are you Guthrum's men? Aye. Free us and we will fight by your side. My thanks. You have done right by me. Every Saxon who spat at me will die. You'll have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. Let your steps take you far from here to our camp near Chippenham. Thank you, Eivor. You did a great deed here. Their families will raise a cup to you. I need no thanks, Guthrum. Let us speak more when we are safely away. You'll have your chance, but don't be foolhardy. We're safe here. Let us speak, Uthram. You should join your people at the camp. Even a surprise takes preparation. Your bravery? Your leadership, Eivor? You wear it well. You have grown much since last we spoke. You judged me fairly, Guthrum. Harsh, though your words were. But I do not make the same mistake twice. How is your brother, Sigurd? He lives. A changed man. But he is free of Fulke's torment. That at least was a deed well done. Will this all be worth it in the end? Everything we have done? 
Everything we have sacrificed to win this land? Sometimes I dream of soothed black furrowed earth. And blood seeping from seedlings, poisoning our future. We must believe our way of life will survive. Our fates are woven, but our deeds forge our destiny. Ah, and so to our final battle. We will wait for you at the camp. Must speak. Another matter that needs my attention. I will meet you at the camp. Alfred spoke of Uber meeting his end on the Avon River, west of Aventune. I fear the worst, but I must know. And eternity, I assure you, is a very long time. You might think... You there! Dane! Come and be saved! Don't you get tired of all that yelling? Welcome, heathen! Praise God who has brought you here to join us! My ship is not steered by your god. Cease your blasphemy! You have been summoned by God to be baptized! Submit or pay the price. And how do you plan to make me? Faith is our weapon, and the only one we need. Your threats aren't worth the breath of my arse. We'll see about that. Faith! Cleanse this pagan scum! <laughs> Die at the hands of faith! Think twice, nun. I won't be dying today. Are you so keen to meet your god? <laughs> Is that the best your god can give? People will worship anyone these days. Faith! Faith! Oh, you monster! How could you? She was so sweet, gentle, and delicate. Great. Now I have to find someone else to tell me what to do.
Here in the Chu Valley, old kings of Hwiki still dance with the stones of the Nephilim. I have taught them of the power that sings here. How dare you tamper with these sacred threads, a voice scolded me. You must leave me, he said. Divorced from the Illuminat, his voice waxes and wanes. But a soft song still finds me in my penance. I bend a knee and leave a grain of sand for the old winds. energy here. Gidrich, of the Rochester. I was not sure you would come again. I've chosen my side. Who would sooner bet a hog than allow Alfred to pillage the land of love? Guthrum will trample Alfred's ambitions like weeds in the dirt. Mercia might rise further yet. <laughs> Perhaps I shall one day sit upon the throne of all England. King Gidrich the drunken ass. <laughs> I'll raise a cup to that. You so Look, you Saxon bedwetters. Here is a real warrior. Willy, leave these poor boys alone. Their ears are too delicate for the filth you pour in. Boys is right. This streak of cat piss is barely off his mother's tit. And the Essex boy has hands like a milkmaid. Ha! Such fiendish ribaldry between you two. You laugh in the face of fear. Tweak old man death's beard. I will do my mother. And my lord proud today, Eivor. The lord knows... I have not been the best of sons. Good to see your spirits high. Fight well, my friends. And we will feast together in victory. You soft-cheeked Anglo boys. Have you brought your mothers with you? My mother is worth ten of your men. I do not doubt it. I have seen those strong Saxon hens... ...clucking round the hearth as you farmers play with your cocks. Ha! <laughs> And she'd welcome you in Colchester, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> Better than those sour-lipped thanes who haunt our hall. Tevde, it is good to see you. Oh, I gave you my word. Besides, 
Alfred's faith is strict, and he has no love for pagans. You have changed much from that god whip boy. That is good to see. And you taught me a lot, Eivor. Our time together was... Well, it taught me much. I'm glad, Tifter. In fact, I composed a poem for the occasion. Would you like to hear it? Mm, later, Tifter. I have many allies to greet before the battle. Stay safe and well until then. Vinir, stand tall. A light heart lifts all those around them. Ah, Eivor! Who would not be joyous, reaving at your side? And how do you feel about bringing sorrow to the Saxons on their holy day? It darkens my mood. I have learned some of the Christ Lord's teachings. He preaches peace where our gods delight in battle. Let their delight be ours, then. You have many battles to wage before the end. And I will be beside you for them all. My axe ready, and my heart stout. Eivor! It's good to see you. Erke and Stoll, I released you from your debt, and yet you came. London is quiet enough, and Stow here felt the sharp stab of conscience. Could not let you down, Eivor. That's not what an honorable man does. So here I am, despite my reservations. And you, Broder. I did not think you would be here either. I have seen to my brother. Sent him to Valhalla with grave goods. I am done with sorrow, Eivor. Now I am bloody angry. There you are, Raven. Lufina, sure. It warms my heart to see you well. Well as ever. Better since we skinned those other rats. I hunted down more in Winchester on Alfred's behalf. Now we come to take his kingdom. How quickly a coin can flip when tossed from hand to hand. Only a fool is a betting man. Aye, you're... Alfred thought to use me, but he will find differently at Chippenham. We owe Eivor a lot, my love. I know, I know. This last of Ray, I hope the debt will be cleared. I long to return home to our own warm hearth. There, your love. You have come again at my call. I have, but this does not sit well with me, Eivor. This is a Christian feast, and the people here are not soldiers. I come only for Alfred. Innocents will die for your ambitions. I am your ally now, but after this, I must turn back to Mercia. I have much to repent. So long as I do not lose your friendship, your oath will be fulfilled. You... Eivor, you made it unscathed. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. I'll greet my allies first. Good. Come find us again when you are ready. Do you believe the Saxon Lord? Is Uba really dead? Aye. A few survivors found their way to us. The great man is gone. The last vestiges of Ragnar's legacy begin to fade. We have lost many Firebloods. 
This land has sapped our strength. There will be too few of us to settle when we are done. All is ready, and your allies have arrived. Speak to them, if you like. I'll be here when you're done. Eivor, you made it unscathed. Let us speak of our plan to take Chippenham. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the things, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tifta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the things. Rhoda, take Erke and Stowe and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm, your axe arms strong, and together we will win this final battle. <laughs> and remember, Alfred is mine. Soma, with me! Everyone else, go quickly to the village! Advance! Be on the lookout for any stray guard. Lufina, Jor, keep a strong flank! <gasps> Get to the village, and wait for my signal! Don't be gentle if they spot me. <gasps> Let's smoke the rat out of his guard's house. from my torch. Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Werum? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side, all those who wish to see Wessex under one god. 
cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I would not leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder. Do your worst. <laughs> We could have been allies, but now you'll fall by my sword. I will never bow to Alfred. Hellfire! matter if I die as long as Alfred is safe. Your life looks so little. You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me, then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. No. I will use you as you used me. A few hours in the company of my men, and you will lead us to your Sparrow King. That... I cannot allow. For glory! Shoma! 
God grant me strength! No, but your Saxon boys were ambushed. One day ambushed. Hold these men back! I will find them! I'll stay your Get up! This is no time for weep wailing. I... I cannot. And there is a blackness closing in around my eyes. It frightens me. Forgive me, Humwald. I should have been quicker. No. No. You were my staunch protector, Ellerich. Eivor. Have you seen braver wounds? I will carry him from the fray to that farmhouse there. I will get you to safety, Humwald. Unwald, listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestun. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. Has winter come so soon? You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Eivor. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast, sob bright words of welcome, and, and tell you no man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. My truest. There was nothing more you could have done. Friendship has a hollow ring, if there is no threat of losing it. I should check on Guthrum at the feast hall. Great. Gudrun, I need you fighting with the rest. These men will not surrender. And what little talk is talking about chasing himself behind that door there? I will fight Rhoda. What can I do? Hey, Lord. The garrison has more defenders than we hope. 
My men are being slaughtered! I will find a way to open the gate from the inside! Hurry! These ways of reinforcements are hell sent! Try to fight! <laughs> <laughs> Most of them. Make sure the garrison stays under our control. I need to help the others. I should check on Guthrum at the feast hall. Find a way in. Weekend. Let us finish this! Pay for your sins! Keep your guard up! You're mine! 
They are routed! The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Guthrum Jarl, we're not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled! His patsy struck down! Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here! Guthrum, hear me! Soma is... She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the Endless Feast, and she is the better for it. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? I must speak to those still living. Feel stronger, or... It is done, Broder. You fought well. I saw him, Havor. In my darkest moment, Broder stood beside me. And all was as it used to be. And then the battle ended. I feel him no longer. There will be other battles. Aye. And there you'll find me, Havor. In amongst the blood and death. Ruthir at my shoulder, until the Valkyries claim me. You have given me more than I would ever have asked for. How will I repay it? Keep him in your thoughts. For when a man is mourned, his deeds cheered and his songs sung, he cannot die. Do you think there will come a day when winning will not be enough? Well, you can always fight with me if you want to taste crushing and loin-soiling defeat. My very presence would make that impossible. Enjoy this victory, Eivor, wherever it brings you. Only a coward thinks he'll live forever.
Air K. You wear a furrowed brow. Stowe is taking matters hard. You know how sensitive he is. A man of faith and stout morals. Small wonder he's tormented. His support for you has taxed him hard. I will take him back to London. Maybe he will find some comfort there. You are his comfort, Aki. Not the city you watch. He is in good hands. My thanks, Stowe. You came to my aid when you were free to turn away. And still it breaks my heart to look upon what we've done today. Was it the right choice? I do not know. But it is done now. If Alfred had his way, there would never be friendship between Norse and Saxon. You fought for peace. Be proud of that. I wish I could. And in time, perhaps I will. You are not injured, Tefter. Bruises, that is all. I've taken the Lord into my heart, and he watched over my sorry bones. Those who fell sit beside him now. And what of my heath and friends? I used to believe in damnation for all who turned from his light. But there is a wondrous communion in friendship honored. Even though your godson preaches peace. And we shall do that, Christians and pagans, side by side. Never persecuted. Your Christ would smile at that, I think. Your Freya would too. He shall come to judge the living and the dead. They are love, Gidrich. There's a solemn air about you. To disturb such holy revels with blood and murder. I fear God may never forgive me for this. Had your god taken Alfred's side, we would not have won. So it may be that you did his work after all. Alfred still lives. And now I am twice his enemy. Give me one more fight, and I will gladly make it a third. He is defanged and a little threat to us now. That slippery eel may yet surprise you. Atonement is a long and lonely path, and I must soon leave to take my first steps upon it. Your debts to me are paid. I wish you well on your journeys. Your first battle, Elorich. You fought well, and with honor. Is this the glory you deign seek? You can keep it. I saw Hunwald die. The light dim in his eyes. That could have been me. You will never be the same. But you'll be stronger for it. I have wasted so much time in pouting like a child. No more, Eivor. No more. Oh. Lovina. Gods, I... I did not know. Is he... is he... Hush. What good can words do, Havor? Keep to silence. He is gone. For what days I was given to spend with you. For each breath that carried your sweet whispers. I give thanks. No more. Your fingers in my hair. No more your arms around my waist. The days will be cold hereafter. All color dimmed. Goodbye, my only. My heart ends with you. What is left will go on. My heart is heavy. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? 
Yes, there is nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours. But it came at a great cost. Soma Yalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand. She will live on in our memories from now till the end of days. And to your warrior, husband, and friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Hunwald, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead. Our fallen warriors. And speed them to their end. Uthram. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I have made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwall's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger.
Eivor? Swanborough, I... No. Gods, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My own... No! 
my poor swan. Oh, gods. He fought bravely and turned the tide to secure a victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are a poor salve for a wounded heart. I'll leave you to mourn and know that we're here for you. Always, should you need us. Pleasure to see you again, Eivor. Eivor, there you are. I have something for you. A message. Quite strange. Something for me? What is it? A letter requesting your presence in the southwest. A village called Athelny. Nothing strange about a summons for me, is there? It is not the recipient I find strange. It is the sender. The letter is signed, a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Ah, a mysterious partner. For a short time, I hoped it might be Bassam feeding us the names of these targets. He seemed the most likely man, for a time. Only one way to discover the truth. Thank you, Hytham. I'll take care of this. Avon River at Offentu. This was where Alfred said the battle with Uba took place.
All right there? Yes. <clears throat> Hello. I do not mean to intrude, but... I'm looking for someone. And who would that be, then? I... Uh, I do not know exactly. Well, that'd be why you ain't found him. But you're free to pass the time just here, if you like. Thank you. Your soul cakes, love. Do you know soul cakes? I do. I enjoy them. They're small things, size of a lumpy fist, so they'll bake fast. Keep your eyes sharp. And the butter? Do I baste them? No need, love. We we'll leave the butter for meal time. I look forward to it. Right then. I'll leave you to this. If you need me, I'll be doing the washing up next door. Quite a step down from your former work, Lord. As their guest, I volunteer to help with the daily chores. They offer me a bed. I tend the cakes. Do they not feel strange giving orders to their king? Or do they know? That knowledge would benefit no one. I read your message. You went through a great deal of trouble to obscure yourself as this poor soldier of Christ. As I remember... You even sent yourself one of these letters in Winchester. A clever touch. The Order wanted me dead. I had to be careful. You said you knew nothing about the Order then. Pled ignorance. But you knew everything. Their names. Their schemes. Would you join me for a walk? You look well, Eivor. I am. The wars have ended, and my settlement thrives. The wars have not ended. You have simply stopped fighting. But men are brewing plots in mead halls and bedrooms. You will see. Now are you, Alfred? Getting used to the idea of being unremarkable. I am well. Better than I expected. In this exile, I have found a somewhat nourishing peace. Each morning, I am awakened by the sun and growling cormorants. I bathe in the chilly water of the marsh. I eat from shrubs and drink from buckets. It is a good life. Simple. Blessed. I've never been so far west. I find it quite peaceful here. Calming. I've traveled a long way to hear one name, Alfred. Who is the Order's Grand Magister? Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. You. Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother.
from my father before him. Defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master, and I loathed them. With Goodwin, I set a plan in motion to destroy the order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane is what led to their demise. You are Norse, are you not? You have a good ear. I owe you my thanks, Eivor. For that, I give you this. The key to my study. That you may better understand the good you have done. With the order all but destroyed, you have made room for a greater idea. One to take its place. A universal divine order, inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England. Whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. England is no more, Lord. You're the last of her kings, and yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored, nor resisted. In time, all those who accept God will flourish, and all those who defy him will fall away. Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs! The cakes are burnt! Where is that man? The young man! Where have you gone? Damn. That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. I'm coming, my lady. I'm here. Alfred gave me a key to unlock his study. Somewhere in Winchester. Oh dear, oh dear, look at them little balls of soot! Good lady, forgive me, I was lost in thought. No matter, just let them cool and we'll begin again. Direct me and I will obey.
pay for it. Have a song. Is there a sea skull among you? I will tell you this no one is. How about the tale of the return of. When I came to England, have you seen the size of the sturgeons in the. During my time in East Anglia, Atherman, the king that lived for a brief time before Oswald, asked the secret fate. I will give you Run a up flesh. Thy scars tell good tales. Take this one. A hole through my chest. Hush now. All right. Back to the story. Thy scars tell good tales. Take this one. A hole through my chest and out my back. Just missed my heart. The elk up north are abundant. So I led a bunch of men into the woods, and we found two big males jousting. I had never seen anything like it. Horn on horn, bone on bone, at that speed, with that power. Over and over and over again, until only a single elk stood standing. Bloody, triumphant, facing me. We were two giants, going at it for food, land, sex. My blood was pumping. I told the men to lower their bows as I approached it. I cast my spear aside. Save it for later. Good part, yes. My blood was pumping. I told the men to lower their bows as I approached it. I cast my spear aside, dug my boots into the snow. This was my land now. I had to prove it. We ran towards each other and crash. I woke up at camp with my screaming. The men killed the elf for food and nursed me back to health. First lesson England taught me. Don't fuck with the elk. I should talk to Hytham.
full share of tail follows in my wake. I do not seek it out, but it is always there. Do you remember Ingrid the chicken? The one that the wretched old hermit woman used to keep? I stole her. I came to England too late. That is the problem. The sons of Ragnar have shorn her of all possible glories. Everywhere I go, I find the footprints of men and women who were there before me. In my first weeks, I Rocky gathered Rocky. many men and took them raging. I lost my heart to an elderman's wife. Kidnapped her away. But even that was not enough to raise the name of Rola above the clamor. Other names but mine ring on the tongues of the skulls. Hafden, Uba, Guthrum, and Eivor the Wolf Kissed. Like the trees of a great forest. We'll pick up from there. Where were you? Like the trees of a great forest, they shade those beneath, and nothing more can grow there. This land is full. Its glories are spent. All right, back to the story. This land is full. Its glories are spent. I need to look to other shores where I will write my saga into history. Hold here! Here you are, Hytham. The last of the Order's sigils. You'll find King Alfred's among them. King Alfred? Did our poor fellow soldier lead you to his hiding place? He did, but they were one and the same. Our poor fellow soldier of Christ was the Grand Magister of the Order of the Ancients. He turned on his own order. Fascinating. Not turned so much as trembled. His devotion to Christ and what he calls a universal order set him against them from the start. With all sincerity, he loathed the title, the duty he had inherited, and wished them destroyed. Wonderful. With his abdication, the last stronghold of the Order has been dismantled. All that remain are scraps here and there. And you, Eivor. Now that you have seen our enemy, and you understand our cause, I wonder if you would join us. Become a hidden one. Was this your ultimate goal, Hytham? A trial by fire? It is a kind offer, but I do not believe we fight for quite the same cause. Your creed demands that you keep your triumphs hidden. I prefer my glory to be in plain view for all to see. If I taught you our creed, if you spent time with it, it could open your mind to another view. Another view is always welcome, but to live without celebrating one's glory and honor and achievements is not a life for me. But know this. I would give my life in a moment for those I love, and who love me in return. All here, including you, my friend. I understand you well, Eivor. Very well indeed.
I have then go in peace. Eivor. Between you and me, Eivor, always thought you'd be a good child. May I see your stores? Ah, that one's pretty good. Thank you for trusting me, Pat. Like the looks of that one? There, Eivor. Now you can take on anything. Is that what you want? You have a keen eye for quality. I feel like a proud father. Look how strong Ready for battle. I must be on my... Put that gear to good use out there.
Let's go. Sail! Catch the wind! Sing us a song. Let's hear a story. There was a woman called Narl. I often think on Estrid. Quiet a moment, and listen to my... You lot have not fought a... F when I was a girl, I tied threads to my mother's cats. Friends, amid all this battle music... Rolfa, you are destined for... A good nickname must carry a good... In the early days of the feud between Kiotve the Cruel and the Raven Clan, there was a mad berserker called Kiar Robo. Kiar had pledged his battle fury to no king or yard, and would give his oath only once each winter, for reasons nobody could fathom. One year, Kiar's sister, Thura, was married to Kiotve's brother, Alrek, and soon Kiar was often seen in the company of that clan. But soon after, word came to Kiar that Alrek had abused his sister. When he asked Thura about this, she told him, It is true. So Kiar invited Alrek on a hunting expedition. And when they were away, Kiar slew Alrek and pulled off one of his arms. When he returned to camp, Kyotve asked where his brother was. Kiar shook his head and held out his hand, in which was an armory. Your brother bid me give you this ring, Kyotve. Confused, Kyotve took the ring, and with it came the entire bloody arm. Your brother pledged his oath to hell herself. Kiar laughed, and he turned and departed. He was never seen in those parts again. When I gave up my berserker ways, my... The last time we were docked. When we arrived here, the short of fighting was the hard. My first day defending the walls of Grantebridge, my duty. There is no more epic a tale than the story of how I found my ship. A glorious fight. Where were you? There is no more epic a tale than the story of how I found my ship. The glorious fire ship. Remember her? It was a prize. I was piss drunk one night, could barely stand, and up comes this young upstart dame, fresh up a lucky raid, to fight me, challenged to a brawl. He was thirsting for a bruising for no reason I could see. I warned him off, gave him a chance to walk, but his companions were with him, Egging him on. <laughs> Shit. He bellowed in them. In quiet moments like these, I often think on my life and how it will come to pass. The Nornir weave our fates. Everything we do has already been decided, even the day of our death. But these thoughts trouble me. For if the Nornir already know I am to be great, then I will be great, no matter what I do. If I cast myself overboard to drown, would fate send a dolphin to save me? Or was I always meant for a watery end? What is the point of valor, of glory? If I slay a hundred men, am I a hero? After all, the dice were loaded. Should I do nothing at all? Why make an effort when I could stand here and let my fate come to me? Or does heroism lie in not knowing one's fate? Facing your end, whatever the winds of the gods. Perhaps the true measure of a man, the full span of his worth, is how little he gives a shit. Heed me, Lord. And I will tell you the tale of how... I once sat down and spoke to Saxon priests. Not as men with different gods, but as drunk men. Curious, I questioned him. He claimed we might believe differently who sits amongst the clouds. But our beliefs are not so different in nature. After all, they too look to the gods for answers. Where we have many, they have just one. <laughs> Only need one, I suppose. So I asked him, is your god truly so powerful? 
We see. We'll pick up from Time there. Time you die. Where well, you at the good part, yes. So I asked him, is your god truly so powerful? We see the dark clouds and know Thor's furious at Sinchus Midgard. But I had yet to witness their god's primal powers. What were they? Did he bring bountiful harvests or boons? The priest said that his god was everywhere and everything. I did not understand it then. Maybe I still do not. But there is an undeniable vigor, a strength in their idea of heaven. Believing that their lives will one day be better still, even with us cleaving through it. Hope, Abel. Hope. I think that is what their god brings them. Friends, I have often said Nya was a gift from my wife. But until today, I have never told the book. You remember my mother, Abel? Hmm. There was a tale of the man I was to crown king before Oswald. Athelred, he was called. It was just before you came, Eivor. Ruid's man had made it... Some years ago, I took to sea with a sword dancer called... Listen, and I will tell you the story. A story from my youth. This... You remember the girl, Astrid, Eivor? I asked her to come with me when we left Norway, but she was to wed another. A deal her father had arranged. What are children if not pawns to their father's ambitions? He made a peace pledge to avoid the fates we ended up with. Banished. I often wonder how things would have been. Where we might have lived, what livestock we would have raised. A simple life, I hope. ...out of the shadows of our heritage. <laughs> I even pondered the names of our children. Me, the free spirit, the war seeker. I was a stranger even to myself, thinking of her. But there was a stony look in her eyes when she told me she was going to go through with her father's wishes. She had a strong heart, that girl. She always knew what was the right thing to do. <laughs> I was not it.
Go, my eyes.
Do you see? Condemnabitur inconvenientes calciamenta sunt mihi. Pono e curaste laclice! Se stonta magan se cet heora uiva su. Alfred's study. 
What secrets has he kept hidden away? Rantings and ravings, not unlike Fulke's solutions. Is there more to all this than I understand?
Dad! What have you got for me? You should get that. Honestly. Anything you find, bring it to me. Eager to find a new home for these. Only a fool would pass this up. Use it wisely. Nothing else? I'll see you. Always a pleasure, Eivor. Painful. Impressive. Never seen anything like it. I must. Until next time. My love. Hamptonshire has fallen and withered the kingdom of Wessex. But the course was great, maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. I want to see the Alliance map.
I have changed my mind. Come to me. Hmm. <laughs> 